हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर फहीम अ सीरीज ऑफ एडवांस रिसर्च मेथडोलॉजी दिस इज लेक्चर टू आई वांट टू रिमाइंड यू रिगार्डिंग द लेक्चर वन इन विच वी डिस्कस व्हाट इज रिसर्च विद एग्जांपल्स we have see that the research is a scientific method and it uses a systematic approach also we are discussing what is originality in which we discuss knowledge plus experience which develop the new idea after that we have discusses the research processes and one by one we have discuss the 11 steps of research process in today lecture we are going to discuss the research profile so first we will discuss what is project normally we have see that when we are doing final year project of bachelor what we are doing we are doing the same as explain in this definition a project is the documentation that contains a series of activities managed to produce desired outputs in fixed period of time written out with enough background literature view as well as methodology on how to do the activities so when you people are doing your final year project you are uh, write a documentation where you explain the set of activi- activities and also you have detail explain your output so today in this research methodology lecture we are discussing another angle of project that is project for the research grant when you people write any project proposal to get in order to get the research grant or you may write a project proposal for any address industry to get the grant where you need to explain the set of activities with the desired output and also you have explain each module need how much the time you have defined the fixed time for each module and as well as while writing the documentation you have explain the background and literature of that project based on that literature you have develop a methodology on how to do the activities a project should also have define the stakeholders who are the final beneficiary with your project with this documentation you are highlighted the importance by mentioning the relationship with the 
target audience, target group or final beneficiary. Where you also explain the coordination, management and financial arrangement. You are write up a complete budget plan in order to get the project you have also added the coordination letters or coordination bodies where you show that some of the practical work you are done in your organization or university or some of the work with you are going to done with any third party maybe any third organization any university any industry okay so accordingly you have to manage the finance maybe you mention in your budget plan you need some equipment that are not available in your institution your collaborator institution so you need some of the budget that require to purchase more important uh, instruments or any other uh, equipment okay so for project profile firstly you have to mention the project title it should be clear and explicit also it should be concise enough to easily capture the attention of the reader so with the title of the project you people have to attract the uh, industry regarding what is happening in complete your documentation with the single title the audience will attract with your title title and they try and firstly try to read your document whole project your idea if your title is not clear they may ignore and maybe they think that by title your work is also same right also next second is point is rational the problems to be addressed should be clearly stated including what have been done and why it should be addressed urgently so this is the key point problem statement you should know that did you need to also explain that why this gap this issue need to be resolved as soon as possible you need to attract the audience how you have to solve the current issue for example like a coronavirus now it spread numerous country and all the researcher are doing research how fastly they have to make the vaccine third point is that the goal it is unattainable ideal that the project aim to contribute towards 
longer term impact of the project this is your first motive what you are going to propose it have long lasting value your research remain long lasting its effect on broader aspect then it is easy for you to get the project from the industry or any organization fourth point of the project profile is purpose why you are going to write this proposal how it attract how it solve the issue of the targeted group what are the immediate outcome of your project what you are expecting to achieve you need to explain in the purpose section next approach or methodology what approach or method you are going to use in order to conduct the research with this approach how you can ensure the results of the project are properly aligned with the intended beneficiary or we can say your expected it will align with your expected results so accordingly you have to choose your method six is output so what is the output a limited set of well defined tangible or intangible products usable by user and for which we are accountable to the donor what we said we are going to produce in other word we say that what is your final product what you are going to deliver how it differentiate the other so it depends upon this requirements of the stakeholders what they expecting did you provide the output according to their expectation or no seventh is activities set of activities for each output aim at achieving the said output so one by one you are explain the list of activities number of steps or you have to deal with this project maybe some of the activity you are perform in your organization some of the activity you are assigned to your collaborator he can do by their own in his organization or you also collaborate with him and do uh, together with their organization or you may get help from some other body you have defined the set of activities okay eighth is target group or attended beneficiary well defined group who will benefit from the implementation of the project previously we also discuss who have get the benefit from your project target audience 
who are the targeted beneficiary ninth is the partner or collaborator partner and collaborators who will directly involved in the planning and implementation of project complete cv and past research record this is very important while you writing your research proposal you must explain the detail of collaborator by using his resume such as his related publication if you writing any project so the targeted body what they want they how they how they give you the project they must want to know do you know previously about that project you did you have to do something previously regarding that project how many list of publications that are related to your research proposal or project proposal did the principal investigator or co principal investigator we say that collaborator have did any of them have completed any project previously how many project they have to completed previously so all these thing are very important while you are submitted your proposal so based on your past research record they have more happy to give you that project next is the project management in this section you have to describe the arrangement for the management of project and assign various responsibilities maybe you have a big team in your lab one is your principal investigator have assigned task to the co principal investigator or an any other body of your lab so together they have assigned the task because by assigning the task you may have to complete your project with the uh, defined time frame next is work plan a set of activity to be conducted with specific timeline and milestone so it directly relationship with your time accordingly according to your time you have manage the set of activities okay both are reflecting the time and accordingly you have to complete each module budget budget is very very important in your project because budget is always reflecting to the scope of the project so you when you are writing the project in the budget section you have explain the total cost of the project co financing maybe you have find some sponsorship from somewhere else or matching fund or remaining you have request for that funding 
if you get any uh, co-financer or sponsor you also attach the proof after that you have requested for only the remaining budget it will attract more to the evaluator annexes in annexes you have attached all the supporting documents with your project proposal that you describe in the main body of your project documents for example previously we discussed maybe you have to uh, included the uh, collaborating collaborator letter you maybe you have to attach the uh, cv resume for the collaborator maybe you have to attach the uh, any sponsorship letter uh, uh, also uh, maybe you need to attach the supporting letter from your head of institution okay so now research was the project so previously in first lecture we have discussed the research in which we explain the research is actually new knowledge is discovered but on the other hand if we see that project is perform activities according to the project need it's depend on the scope of the project accordingly need to perform the activity in research research is done based on problem of statement because in research we are find out the existing gap exist gap in the study or problem in the existing study accordingly we have to propose something else or we have write the problem statement then accordingly we have write the objectives and we are writing the hypothesis then collecting data then analyze then after uh, uh, generate results and accordingly we have write the conclusion but in the project which is based on the requirement of the scope stakeholders you are not going outside the box because with the budget and time constraint you have to develop your or complete your project as the requirement of stakeholder in research the expected output of research is uncertain and the solution might not be reached because we are based on the existing knowledge we are propose a new study so in some cases uh the approach you are using or your contribution you are doing in your research it may not give you satisfactory results so we need a detailed study while we are adding any contribution in the existing research in but on the other hand in project the expected outcome expected output is very certain and can be reached according to the project schedule because already defined in the scope of the project you know that uh, you already have to made a set of activities and align with the time frame accordingly step by step you have to complete the project here is last content is preparing a research proposal very basic question why write a research proposal there is two different situations it may 
be ideal if it will interest two situation include supervised interest and your interest this is both is the possibility but what you are thinking what you are going to propose you suppose that that is the ideal proposal but if on the other hand what happening if it may be the supervisor interest maybe it is the possibility supervisor asks you that you have to work on this idea then you need to negotiate with your potential supervisor a very interesting thing very interesting question will you enjoy doing the research if you have no interest in that area only the interest of the supervisor maybe you should now you should not dis- read previously the uh, that specific domain or area or any course related to the supervisor interest you you are in critical condition brother third is a choice of what you ought to achieve always have a good proposal that are belong to your interest and the supervisor interest between that you got the good idea so how because in first case maybe uh, previously we discussed in first first case if it belong to your interest then what happen maybe your supervisor may not have to work on that domain in next case maybe the supervisor interest it is possible you have not to work in the supervisor domain maybe you are not interested to work on the supervisor domain so always find a mutual solution that are in both interest these are the steps uh, writing a good research paper any research proposal supposed to be a good if it is able to collect relevant information formulate a good idea for research place the research within the context of what is currently happening in the field you must you must need to address the current solution current issues accordingly you need to propose a solution on the current issues don't look out 10 year back 15 year back 20 year back okay so always when you are doing your research try to read out maximum literature that are in recent year last 2 3 year mostly work you have to read how much the work i have done yeah i understand you have to read previous work as well also as a basics but you must have to find the gap in the recent work because in previous work they already have to find out the gap problem accordingly they have provide the solutions summarize relevant prior work in the field articulate the goals describe by research plan and methodology here first uh, they ask that you need to summarize 
the related work the literature that you are studying better solution is that you have to manage a document you have to read any paper conclude your paper in that document summarize all your paper you while you are studying and set your goals accordingly you have to need to explain the methodology moreover while you writing your research proposal you need to indicate why the research is useful or important the research proposal you are not going for the results analysis data collection conclusion because based on the problem you are going to propose the methodology and you need to highlight how it is more useful or important key element of proposals why what who when where happen and how it can happen so one by one we are explain each element so first element while we writing the research proposal is why describe the problem you are addressing who or what does the problem affect maybe the examiner will ask you question what are the significant of solving the problem why you are doing this research work why it is important why you have no you don't have to work another model why you choose this model why not you have used the feature used in another model why this is the first question the examiner asks you why you are studying this research topic next is what can you answer to when writing a proposal is what what has already been done to attempt address or solve the problem what is lacking so by writing your literature review you are at the end of writing your literature you are able to convince the audience where is the research gap what do you purpose to address or solve the problem what is different from the previous attempt you need to explain that your approach is much better than the existing one how you have to explain you must have to mention where you have contribution for example in one side we say that this is the model and this is the uh, proposed model existing model and proposed model and proposed model you must have to highlight it that what you have contributed that are not contributed in the uh, previous time or previous attempt what will be the nearest term outcome of the project and what will this change what will happen when you add these new features in your uh, model what happen what approach will you use to conduct your activity in order to achieve the purpose and goal of the project who who will 
directly benefit from the project who can get the benefit you need to highlight it which parameters you are going to address who are the key individual to be involved in the project why were they chosen maybe you you are choosing a big team or your research lab maybe your supervisor and three four members of your research scholars they are doing the research so you need to mention the role of each individual and their responsibilities if all of them are work on the similar project what are the role of each individual each scholar that are in your research lab okay where will the project be implemented so we need to explain the intended beneficiary how they get the benefit so where you going to implement this project on which area which field what is the scope when will the project implemented and over what period of time so you have uh, sometime we are managing our time frame by developing the gantt chart for the research like we say that first 6 month we are working on the literature next 3 month we will writing the research purpose or oh, proposal or research methodology in next 3 month you are implement this methodology and next 6 month you can say that you have to uh, uh generate results and then write ups and last week we, you can say that maybe 3 4 months you need to complete write up and final the conclusion it is also possible that you may say that 3 months you require for the research paper during your complete research uh, project or any thesis du- during your completion of your thesis how will the project be managed how will the outcome and result of the project be communicated how will product and outcomes be disseminated to target groups or beneficiary so these are the possibility when you are doing your research maybe a very big project your supervisor assign different task to different research scholar different group member in your lab and all of them have individually complete their task and their uh, outcomes and communicate maybe to the project leader or your lab leader we can say your supervisor and how the your supervisor work on that project maybe any it belong to any grant that is belong to any government agencies so how after the outcomes how he communicate with the agents government agencies or any organization uh, the uh, expected whatever you get the result or outcome regarding the outcomes you have to discuss with the uh, your leader will discuss with the organization 
and uh, any uh, government agency where to get that project result of research your research is completed only after the results are published this is also possible some may have to steal your idea and may publish somewhere else so after that you have nothing in your hand you are with the empty hand if some have one have to publish your idea some people are doing writing thesis 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 because when you are writing your thesis it takes long time to complete your thesis but the good approach is that whenever you get the result you must have to publish and the same text you are writing for your research paper you are uh, paste in your research thesis because in thesis you need to explain each and every step so you need the big documents but in the paper you have briefly or you have to explain the key points so it is more recommended to you once you have to write your you have to get your results then publish it immediately here is publication don't perish publication is the principal mean by which to communicate disseminate new idea and finding among researchers and which ultimately lead to the advancement of the knowledge once you have to publish it's mean the reviewer have evaluate your idea that is novel and you have do some contribution and which is uh, Uh, helpful for the uh, targeted community and it which leads the advancement of knowledge as well global yardstick for gauging the reputation of individual researcher that is indeed once you have to publish it may increase your reputation in your research group in your research community or if you are doing job it will maybe it will give you some additional benefits with the publication it is imperative for faculty member to publish in order to survive and prosper here i explain that for the sake of survive and prosper faculty member need to publish their paper why how why they need people thought that oh someone have to do the phd higher degree maybe he she can do the master why he need to study forever the life why because first in previous sentence point we have discussed the reputation second is in order to promote yourself for example there is a criteria of different universities different organization maybe if you are in university you need to promote from any assist, senior lecturer or assistant professor to associate professor you need some requirements for the publications if you want to move associate to professor you have also need to achieve some requirements different universities have different and different countries it vary from country to country because every country have their own requirement of publication and most of the time the universities or any organization industry may give a reward for the publication so it is more important while you are 
as a faculty member or you are working as individual researcher publish or parish manta become household motto for academy here is the manta i use that word is this um, hindi word which explain uh, we explain that its mean is uh, spiritual power which is become the household motto of every academy here with this ladder we will know that no shortcut to climbing the academic ladder other than publish 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 no other shortcut without publishing you have not achieve your targets maybe you have a target target like you become a vice chancellor you become a, a, a minister for the education uh, or any government uh, uh, institution level maybe your provincial level uh, it's depend in your state level become an education minister all are all the position have some requirements until you have not Uh, uh make your good profile by publishing your research paper by completing the research proposal or or many other requirements it depends on universities to universities seeing your work in print is one of the most rewarding outcome of research because when you are doing work hard while writing your research paper if you are in your first research paper after publishing you are going to see again and again and happy that oh ask to your friends to so please uh, follow this link here is my the research paper or you or after that more happiness once you have published again and again paper in good impact factors it is really a rewarding outcome for any researcher however getting your work published in often one of the most frustrating aspect of early academic life when you are a new researcher you know until you have not get your good proofread paper very good way you have to explain your results show your your presentation is until that not very good you have to work hard it some cases maybe you have uh, got the rejection of your paper but i think with the rejection you have to learn more yeah maybe you are disappointed if you got rejection of your paper even though you are work hard in last one two months several months but you have to learn more if you got the rejection you got the points where you are weak then after that you have improve your certain positions and forever life you cannot see return back once you publish your single paper after that automatically you think for second third fourth fifth and after that you thought that oh how much my impact factor how much citation i got these are the really rewarding outcomes the pressure to publish is typically particularly intense at the stage of career okay here is the last line i completed with the quote of alexander gram bell with who say 
to accomplish a great things we must not only act but also dream not only plan but also believe okay dear thank you so much this is our lecture 2 i hope that all of you get the maximum knowledge and uh, i believe that you are follow the complete lecture series of advanced research methodology after the end of this course i believe you are able to write good research paper good research proposal project proposal and research proposal so stay watching these videos and i again ask you to subscribe this channel for your future uh continuity of this series of these videos thank you so much